Very quick question. Um, obviously, there's three votes this time, and you know, what in the event? Okay, we've spoken. You know, you've spoken about at the um, the borough level in terms of working together. What about at the Escot level in terms of it's split and it doesn't go exactly one particular party's way or another? How can you know? Can all the parties actually work together for the benefit of Escot? Uh, yeah, I, I would certainly hope so. Um, I think I think we would we would certainly have to. The way the council is kind of changing the way it makes its decisions is now actually a lot more decisions are being devolved to kind of ward level. So it used to be that someone else would make the decision, and actually the ward, ward councillors would have much less of an impact in that. Um, now it's not just the case that you have to work together within a ward. You now actually have to work together within a wider area. So in Escot, we're paired up with the town centre ward, um, and we actually have to work really closely with the party, uh, a different party councillors within the central ward. So we've already kind of got used to that sort of idea of you need to work very, very closely with people from different parties uh, to achieve the ends that you need to within your area. Um, but obviously, please do put your three Lib Dem votes in the ballot box, not split your vote. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to get two minutes at the end to say things. Right? <laughs> so, uh, Andy. Yeah, I mean, yes, we would because we'd have to, and it'd be the sensible thing to do, the only thing to do to make sure that residents were, were best served. And again, this has been said before, we hope that you would hold us to account um, for that. Um, yeah, we'd also work with the wider Labour group um, on the council, so we've got those networks, particularly in central, a lot of our issues are shared, parking, etc. etc. Um, so, yeah, absolutely, we would work together. Thanks, Emma. Bill. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure it's perfectly feasible. And, uh, the, You're not going to win all three, but... Kind of, <laughs> I'm not sure about the Tories because they're not here, but uh, I think I'm very nervous of the candidates personally anyway, so they all seem reasonable human beings, I'm sure. As reasonable it's a veneer. <laughs> as reasonable human beings, I'm sure we could work together and um, have the common interest of the electorate at heart. So... You know, but on the other hand, if you do have a strong view about something and you don't agree, I still think perhaps if you've got a valid point, you can stick your neck out. But on the whole, I think a consensual approach is probably possible and maybe desirable in those cases. Thanks, Bill.